This video contains Class 5 IMO 2016 year paper set A and set B. Achiever section question has been solved here. I have already uploaded last 5 year paper of Achiever questions. You can find the link in the description box. Just go through the video so that you come to know what type of question and what kind of pattern has been followed through the, throughout the years. Right. All the best and practice well. Question number 46. The given figure is made up of a square and a rectangle. The breadth of the rectangle is one third of the length of the edge of the square. If the area of the whole figure is 384, find the length of the rectangle. So this is a given figure which is made up of square and the rectangle. And the question it is already given, the whole area of the figure is 384. So first we will find out what is the area of the square, this part. It is very simple because it is already given uh, the one side of the square is it is 18 centimeter so first we will find out what is area of square first we will find out what is area of square that is side into side right so side into side which means 18 into 18 because inside all sides are all in square all sides are equal right so 18 into 18 we will get this 324 centimeter square right so we have already the total area of the whole figure so what is the total area the total area of the whole figure is 384 and the area of square is this 324 if we subtract these two areas what we'll get yes we will get 60 centimeter square which is nothing but it is the area of the rectangle area of the rectangle the question is asked you have to find the you have to find the length of the rectangle you have to find the length of the rectangle it is it is very easy because it is already given the breadth is already given and now we just find out what is area of the rectangle. Okay, what is breadth of rectangle? What is breadth? Breadth is given one third of the length of the edge of the square. That means one third of 18. What is the length of edge of the square? It is, it is the length of the square. 18, this side 18 and this side 18 and this side 18. So one third of 18 is very simple 3 times and it will go for 6 times so b which is equal to 6 centimeter the breadth we got is 6 centimeter now we will find out the length of the rectangle so area of rectangle is equal to l into b area of the rectangle is 60 centimeter square which is equal to length is we need to find and breadth is 6 centimeter now what is L? Yes, 60 by 6 which is equal to 10 centimeter. Now we got the answer. The length of the rectangle is 10 centimeter. Question number 47. Alisa is thinking of a 5 digit even number. The first digit is 4 more than the smallest odd number. The second digit is a common factor of the number 2 and 11. The third digit is the product of the first two digits. The sum of 4th and 5th digit is 9. The 5th digit is a multiple of 6. What is the number Alice are thinking of? So, in this type of question, what is the first point? Yes, it is a 5 digit even number. So, first we will move on to the option. Whether the, all the options are given in even number? No, because in option, D and e, option B and D, you can see this number and this number both are odd number. So, option B and D won't be the answer. Finally, we have only one, two options A and C. So, from that only, there is a only one right answer is there, right? So, now we will solve the question. Then we will find out the answer. The first digit. So, first we will write the place value. Five digit number means we will write out the place value here, right? This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousand like the first we'll write the first digit is four more than the smallest odd number so first point 
the first digit is 4 more than the smallest odd number. What is the smallest odd number? It is 1. 4 more than means 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5. So the first digit is 5. Next, the second digit is a common factor of the numbers 2 and 11. So what is the common factor of the number 2 and 11? It is nothing but 1. Common factor is 1. So now we will write in the place of second. This is the second digit. Next, the third digit is the product of the first two digit. Third digit is, is the product of first two digit means which is 5 into 1 which is equal to 5. So we will write in the third place. Next, the third digit. Okay, next the sum of fourth and fifth digit is 9. We have so many options. Right, the sum of fourth and fifth digit is 9 means we have so many options like 1 plus 8 is 9 then 7 plus 2 is 9 but we have to we have many possible ways but you should not go like that from the option only you have to pick out yes we already find out the first three digit 515 so option c must be the answer if you have a doubt means you can check it out the sum and the sum of fourth and fifth digit is 9 yes it is here 3 plus x is 9 then what is the fifth digit is a multiple of 6 the fifth digit is a multiple of 6 yes the fifth digit is 6 here it is a multiple of 6 yes that is 3 into 2 is 6 so hence our answer is the fourth digit is 3 and fifth digit is 6 only so finally option c is the right answer question number 48 find the value of q plus r divided p whole divided by 22 and whole multiply with s so a number 1805294 is divided by 362 so from this we have to find the letters what is the value of the letter p q r and s so one by one we will find out first the letter p letter p is here so it is very simple if you multiply 362 into 4 we will get the value 14 p 8 so what is 362 into 4 it is 1448 so p must be 4 the value of p is 4 the next we have to find out the quotient q it is it is also very simple you can see here the remainder is 3572 so by which number if we multiply with the 362 we have we will get 3572 or lesser than 3572 it's a small trick if we multiply let us assume let us assume the q must q will be at 10 if we multiply 362 into 10 that is let us assume q is 10 we will get 3620 but the 36 uh, sorry 3620 is greater than 3572 so we have you have to choose the number less than 10 so that you will get get exactly 3572 or lesser than 3572 so next we will uh, move on to 9 362 into 9 we will get 3258 yes it is already given so q must be what q must be 9 only because it is the very nearest to the 3572 now next if we subtract these two number we get 3149 again we have to find what is the value of r if we multiply if we multiply 362 into 8 we will get 2896 very simple you have to take the quotient 8 and multiply with 362 you will get 2896 you can see here this is r so the value of r is 8 then it is given you have to find out the quotient yes 2534 so by which number if you multiply with 362 you will get 2534 it is very simple concept take 362 don't go for check one by one let us put three four five six don't do like this by which number if you multiply with the two you will get the ones place as four that is seven if you multiply by seven we will get ones place as four so let us check it out seven twos are fourteen 6 7s are 42 so 43 will come 
then this is the three sevens are 21 21 plus 4 is 25 yes we got it 2534 so 362 if you multiply 362 by 7 we will get 2534 so s must be 7 only now we got all the values 7 now we have to substitute q what is q here 9 what is r here 8 then divided by 9 divided by 4 whole divided by 22 into 7 okay so according to the board mass rule you have to follow board mass rule according to the board mass rule you have to do first division so what is 8 divided by 4 8 divided by 4 is 2 whole divided by 22 into 7 then again 9 plus 2 is 11 11 by 22 into 7 so 22 will go 2 times in 11 table so 7 by 2 which gives 3.5 Hence the answer B is 3.5. Question number 49. Read the following statements and select the correct option. Two, two statements are given here. One is the value of CM minus CD plus CVII is 607. So this question is about Roman numerals. Then statement 2. Symbol C can be added to every Roman symbol. But it can be subtracted from D and M only. So for this type of question, you have to solve both the statement. And then you have to find whether these statements are true or false. So first we will solve the statement 1. Then what is the value of CM? Yes, the CM. The value of CM stands for? It is 900. Then the value of CD stands for? Yes, it is 400. Then C. V I I is denoting 107. Now you have to solve 900 minus 400 and plus 107. So if you solve this, you will get 607. So the statement 1 is true only. Then coming to statement 2. Symbol C can be added to every Roman symbol. Then what is C? The C denotes for 100. Then D denotes for it is 500. And M denotes for 1000. So the, it is given there. It is given here as the symbol C. That means 100 can be added to every Roman symbol. But this 100 can be subtracted from D and M only. Yes, it is correct only because uh, because this, the symbol C is lesser than the D and M only. So that it can be subtracted from D and M. So this statement is also true. So what is the answer here? Yes, both the statement 1 and 2 are true. Option C is the right answer. Question number 50. Find P, Q, R and S in the given statement. Commas are inserted in a number after each P. So, always the commas are inserted in a number after each period. So, what is the what is the value of P here? It is period. Now, move on to the options A, B, C and D. Answer for P is like it is given as in some option it is given digit, in some option it is given period. So, period is the right answer. So, option A and B won't be the answer. So the answer must be option C or D. Next, second question. Place value of digit becomes dash times as it moves from tens place to thousand place. Now let us assume it is a tens place. Next is hundreds place. Next is thousands place. Now I am assuming, assuming a letter 2. I am putting a letter 2 in the place tens. Now, now tell me what is the place value of this 2? It is 20. Right. If suppose if I am placing this same digit 2 in thousands place. I am putting the digit 2 in thousand place. Now you tell what is the place value of this place value of 2 in this position. It is 2000. So if we move a digit from tens place to thousands place. The place value, the, the place value of digit becomes 100 times than the, than the tens place. Right. So you can see here 20. Here 20, 20, 2000 which means 20 into 100 is 2000. So it become 100 times. So Q must be 100. Now move to the option D. You can see 
the value of q is 100 in option d only it is given 1000 so c must be wrong so fine we have found out the answer the option d is the correct anyhow you move on to you check rest of the option also next question number 3 there is no roman numeral to represent dash so for which number we don't have any new roman numeral yes it is for zero for for number zero we don't have any no roman numeral representation yes it is correct so the value of r is zero then fourth question 100 plus 100 plus 100 in, in roman numerals it is written as yes in roman roman numeral what is the value of 100 it is c so c c so c plus c plus c is yes so c c c is the 300 bit representation so what is the roman representation of 300 c c so the finally option d is the right answer question number 46 a basket with a 30 pairs has a weight of 11 kg and 200 gram the same basket with 18 pairs has a weight of 7 kg if each pair in the basket has the same weight then what is the weight of the empty basket what is the weight of basket with 7 pairs let us consider weight of the basket let us consider weight of the basket be x whereas weight of the each pair weight of each pair weight of each pair be y next we convert the given weight into gram so what is the given weight yes it is 11 kg 200 gram if, if we convert this weight into gram we will get 11,200 gram then 7 kg this is the weight of 18 pairs that is 7,000 gram so this is weight of 30 pairs and this is weight of 18 pairs now we will frame our equation that is x plus 30y which is equal to 11,200 gram so what it means yes it's very simple what is 11,200 gram it is the weight of basket plus and weight of 30 pairs right so I have written this equation so let us consider this is equation 1 next x plus 18y which is equal to 7000 what it means yes this is the what is 7000 7000 is the weight of basket plus weight of 18 pairs now we will solve the equation I am going to subtract equation from 1 to 2 right what is a subtraction from 1 to 2 yes now we subtract so that we will get cancel x here we will get 12y which is equal to 4200 gram yes that is 12y is equal to 4200 gram 12y is equal to 4200 gram then what is y 4200 divided by 12 if we solve we will get 350 gram which means weight of each pair now we got weight of each pair is nothing but 350 gram now we will substitute the value of y in any one of the equation it's yeah this you can go for any equation so now we will substitute in in can we can substitute in any equation so let us try i'm going to substitute this equation uh, this value in equation 2 that is x plus 18y which is equal to 7000 gram what is the value of y here yes 350 which is equal to 7000 then x plus okay, what is 18 into 350 
is three six thousand three hundred, which is equal to seven thousand. Then x is equal to seven thousand minus six thousand three hundred, which gives seven hundred. What is the meaning? X is equal to seven hundred. Yes. Now we got the weight of the basket. This is the weight of basket, seven hundred gram. So first is subdivision over. What is first subdivision? They have asked what is the weight of the empty basket. Yes, our answer is seven hundred gram. Second one, we have to find the weight of the weight of seven pairs with the basket, right? So now we'll find out. So what is weight of seven pairs? What is the weight of seven pairs? Yes. Weight of each pair that is three fifty gram into seven, which gives two thousand four hundred fifty gram. But the question is asked for weight of seven pairs with the basket. With the basket means we have to add the basket weight in this. So two thousand four fifty gram. So the answer is. Option D, seven hundred gram and three thousand one fifty gram. Hence, D is the right answer. Question number forty-seven. Aryan rented a bicycle for five hours. How much did he pay? For the first hour, he has to pay nine point two five, and every additional half an hour, it is a five point seven five. So, Aryan rented a bicycle for five hours. So, for the first hour. So for the first hour, he paid rupees nine point two five. Then every additional half an hour. So remaining, we have first hour. We have remaining four hours in our hand, right? So how many half an hour in four hours? That is eight half an hours are there. We have eight half an hours. So which means so for one half an hour he has to pay five point seven five. Then for eight half an hour. He has to pay eight into five point seven five, right? Which means he has to pay forty six rupees for the next four hour. So the next first hour he has to pay nine point two five, and for the next four hour he has to pay forty six rupees. So now we have to add totally. He has to pay that is fifty five rupees and twenty five paise. And option D is the right answer. Direction forty eight to forty nine. The line graph shows the sales of a shop from Monday to Friday. Question number forty eight. What fraction of the total sales from Monday to Friday was collected on Monday? First, we have to find out what is the sale on each day. So, okay, on Monday. On Monday, it is this point, which means thousand seven hundred and fifty. Then Tuesday, it is thousand five hundred, and then in Wednesday, it is two thousand five hundred. Then Thursday, yes, it was thousand five hundred. Again on Friday, it was two thousand five hundred. So here yeah, the question is asked for total sales from Monday to Friday. So what is the total sales? Yes, we have to add all the sales. Five. Yes, then we'll get twenty-seven, two, three, four, six, seven. Yes, nine. So totally nine thousand seven hundred and fifty. The question is, what fraction of the total sales from Monday to Friday was collected on Wednesday? Which means sales on Wednesday. What is the sales on Wednesday? Yes, it is two thousand five hundred. Is divided by the total sales from Monday to Friday. It is nine seven five zero. Now we have to simplify this fraction. So zero zero will be cancelled. These two number will go in five table. So fifty times. Then nine seventy will go by one ninety five. Again it will go by ten, and this is thirty nine. Yes, this is the least form of the fraction that is ten by twenty thirty nine. Hence option D is the right answer. Question number forty nine. 
if the sales made on saturday was 1,3,4 times the total sales made on thursday and friday how much was the sales made on saturday yes how much was sales how much was the sale on thursday yes it is 1500 on friday it, it was 2500 so total sale means which means totally it is 4000 on both thursday and friday the question is asked about if the sales made on saturday was 1 3 by times of the total sales so what is 1 3 by 4 what is 1 3 by 4 it is given in mixed fraction so we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction that is 1 into 4 4 that is 7 by 4 so 7 by 4 into 4000 question number 50 18 years ago sam was thrice as old as trishu sam is 54 years old now the question is how old will sam be five years from now question number b how old was trishu five years ago or question a how old will sam be five years from now yes it is already given sam's present age it is already given sam's present age is 54 years so what is what will be the age of sam five years from now it is very easy five years from now yes 54 plus 5 which gives 59 this is the age of sam five years from now so sam's age is 59 then how old was Trishu five years ago? What is five years ago? So first we have to find what is the present age of Trishu. So present age of Trishu we don't know. So present age of Trishu is equal to x years. But in the question it is given 18 years ago. Sam was thrice as old as Trishu. So 15 years, uh, 18 years ago. So what is 18 years ago means? This is Sam's age. That is 18 years ago means 54 minus 18. Which is equal to thrice as old as Trishu. Yes. This X is present age of Trishu. 18 years ago means X minus 18. But Sam is thrice as old. You have to write 3 into x minus 18. So this is the equation. Again I am telling. 54 is the present age of Sam. 18 years ago means it must be 54 minus 18. So 18 years ago Sam was thrice as old as Trishu. So what will be the age of Trishu? 18 years ago it is x minus 18. And thrice as old means 3 into x minus 18. So now we will solve the equation. So, 54 minus 18 is 36. 3x minus 54. Again, 36 plus 54 which is equal to 3x. Which gives 90 equal to 3x. Therefore, 90 divided by 3 equal to x. Hence, x is equal to 30. Yes, now we got the present age of this is 30 years but the question is asked for how old was Trishu 5 years ago so 5 years ago Trishu must be 25 years yes the answer is 59 years and 25 years option A is the right answer